Hello, I'm Nikolai Foss. I'm a professor here at Copenhagen Business School. And my name is Torben Petersen. I'm professor at uh, Bocconi University. We are here to present uh, a virtual special issue of the SMS journals on microfoundation in strategy research. The special issue contains classical microfoundational papers drawn from the three SMS journals. So why this special issue? Microfoundations has become an important theme in strategy over the last decade or so. The notion began in economics, but it was explicitly used in strategy in 2003 by Lipman and Wumel. It is only within the last five years or so that microfoundations have really picked up steam with now dozens of papers in leading journals that apply the microfoundation lens. Microfoundations are related to other streams in strategy, such as strategic human capital and behavioral strategy and to multi-level modeling. It is also related to the idea that our mechanism should be observable and that we should account for causality. But what precisely are microfoundations and why is it that we need them? So to get a grip on these two questions, consider the diagram, which is known as the Coleman boat or Coleman bathtub after the famous Chicago sociologist James Coleman. In the context of this diagram, microfoundations in strategy are about at least three things. First, microfoundations are about decomposing macro-level constructs. Macro-level constructs or variables in the context of the diagram are placed in the northeastern and northwestern nodes. Now, these macro-level constructs should be reduced, according to the microfoundations uh, idea, to the actions and interactions of lower-level organizational members. So, for example, we may want to understand firm performance in terms of or at least partially in terms, I should say, of the actions and interactions of individuals inside the firm. So in this particular case, we're trying to understand firm performance, that is the northeastern node, in terms of individual behaviors and individual interaction. That is, we appeal to arrow number three in the diagram. But we also want to understand how relations between uh, macro variables or constructs are mediated by microactions and interactions. So if someone says, for example, that reward systems cause performance, what he or she really means is that rewards influence individual behaviors and these aggregate up to performance outcomes. So we make use of arrow number one, two and three in the diagram. The third component of the microfoundations movement or program is that reduced form explanations which in the diagram are exemplified by error number four, should be avoided to the extent that this is possible. At best, reduced form explanation is a shorthand for more complicated mechanisms that traverse levels. So as you can hear, microfoundations involve a reductionist argument, reducing phenomena at the macro level to constituent elements at the micro level. It therefore also involves inherently a levels argument, in a microfoundations argument, there must always be two levels at least. And it's also an argument that involves mediation arguments. And in a sense, that's really all there is to it. Uh, in particular, uh, microfoundations is not, a, it's not a dogma, it's not a church, it's not committed to methodological individualism. For example, that is the idea that all social, social phenomena must always and everywhere be reduced to individual actions. Um, it is not committed to the rational choice model either. The rational choice model is a very good foundation for microfoundational work, but it's not the only one. So microfoundations are consistent, for example, with behavioral models of choice and behavior. It's consistent with all sorts of motivational psychology and so on. So in, in essence, microfoundations is a very broad tent. In this connection, it's important to note that microfoundations do not mean that macro variables have no place in strategy. Constructs such as value creation and competitive advantage are firm, firm level constructs that to a very large extent define the field of strategy. So of course, the firm level is a legitimate level of analysis and measurement in strategy. However, 
Michael Foundations deny a direct causal relation between macro variables. For example, capabilities don't directly cause performance, but it causes performance indirectly to individual behavior. Therefore, micro, micro Foundations research has focused on anchoring higher level concepts like dynamic capabilities, routines, social capital on lower levels. So the papers that we include in this virtual special issue perform exactly this kind of anchoring exercise that Torben Peterson just mentioned by raising questions like what, 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 what is the cognitive basis of managerial dynamic capabilities? Uh, what are the motivational antecedents of human capital based competitive advantage? How do individual action and interaction aggregate up and produce routine action? How can we understand capabilities in terms of those individual actions and interaction and so on? And the, the papers that we have included in the virtual special issue are, as was mentioned, drawn from the three SMS journals. So these are the Strategic Entrepreneurship Journal, the Global Strategy Journal and the Strategic Management Journal. To be sure, there are many, many, many papers indeed in these three uh, journals that could claim to be microfoundational or at least have some relevance for the microfoundations research agenda. But we decided to select papers that have achieved classic status in terms of their citation numbers or papers that are, you know, very explicitly seen by the authors as microfoundational. Also, we wanted to showcase the the diversity that really exists within the microfoundations project. So some authors emphasize cognition, others emphasize uh, motivation. Some begin from rational choice foundations, others begin from behavioral foundations. It's all micro foundational, illustrating our earlier point that indeed micro foundations is a very broad, it's a huge tent that include, as was also mentioned, uh, work on strategic human capital, CEO effects, uh, entrepreneurship, behavioral strategy, and much else. So we have tried to give you a brief overview of the Micro Foundations agenda and strategy. Micro Foundations are clearly a broad agenda. Fundamentally, it's a set of research heuristics that call attention to mechanisms between the levels and it emphasizes the importance of the micro level. We think that micro foundation so far has been successful. However, it's also clear that there are challenges. Perhaps the most important challenge is to develop the right empirical methodologies. For example, micro foundational work requires data sampling on at least two levels. Understanding micro foundations call for understanding behaviors and their complex interactions. All this is challenging, but also highly exciting.